Good afternoon. It is a Saturday afternoon, and um, otherwise I'd say good morning. It is 100 degrees. It is hot. Way too hot again for me. Um, but I'm in LaGrange. It's a little town on the way to Austin that I've never stopped in, even though I've driven through it like 10,000 times. Um, but they have a quilt museum. It's the Texas Quilt Museum. It's a little museum, apparently. And then they have some other stuff. So I'm just going to just be out here for the day with Prudence um, and then head back into Houston. So quick trip in and out. Um, but yeah, it's probably about an hour from Austin. Um, but again, it's one of those places that I've driven through hundreds of times over the last nine years and never actually stopped. So I'm stopping now. So let's check it out. interesting they were really nice very informative in there most of the quilts in the main section were um, from a contest in Houston um, so obviously there's not a lot going on here right now but I'm gonna go over to the museum as well and then maybe go to a historical site so this is the garden and it used to be a movie theater um, but it burned down as most of the wooden buildings do but you can also walk around the gardens and yeah, so I got a little eye gloss case uh, that was quilted. I love quilts because they're so heavy and comfortable. I don't like duvets. Um, so they didn't have any patterns that really kind of fit with Prudence, um, but I do have a Beatles quilt that's on its way from Etsy. So there we go. Okay, next stop. This is the Texas Heroes Museum, and it used to be the old jail. As you can see, most of these jails in these little towns uh, all kind of look the same. Um, so it's open until 4 and it's about 3.15 right now. So I'm going to go in and check it out and then maybe try to go to a couple other places. The Czech Museum, uh, there's a lot of Czech history in Texas actually. Um, that's closed uh, right now, that closed at 3. Um, but yeah, so bit of a bit of, uh, bit of a late start today, but still can check a few things out.
my next stop is the um, brewery and uh, historical monument site, Monument Hill. Um, but you know you're in Czech country when you have kolaches. <laughs> so these are everywhere in Texas. Oh my God, everybody eats kolaches here. Um, technically kolaches, I think it's that they should technically have fruit and not sausages, but they have sausages. Or maybe it's the other way around. But anyway, they're, they're kind of yummy. They're, um, I don't know, like bialis, not like bagels and not like donuts, but they're pretty good. Not really too much of a fan of like the bready, the bready goods, but there's a ton of bakeries around here. And there's also wine country, you know, being the hill country and all that. So uh, not interested in the wine, not really hungry for kolaches, but I will check out this uh, monument site. And then I think I'm going to probably get something to eat. <laughs> so um, definitely need to sit somewhere and have proper food. I haven't eaten anything all day. The cicadas are in full force. So there's a couple little monuments. Um, so there's like the brewery over there. Um, there's a visitor center. This is really cute. This is good if you're just looking for like a mile or two nice walk. And it looks like there's an overlook and a view. So we are in the hill country, um, kind of like in the east side of the hill country. And there's trails um, and then these little houses and things. So it's all on the map. Um, I'm the only person here right now because it's still 100 degrees. I guess Texans don't want to go outside in the sun. I don't blame them, it's kind of hot. Um, anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna just walk. And then I think once I'm done here, it'll be about four and I'll head back into town. There, I just put my obligatory on-camera shot of the parking lot behind me. <laughs> um, actually, you should probably see behind me this way. Not a lot, <laughs> I haven't walked there yet. I literally just started walking, trying to go slow. Um, it is a little shaded. The view looks pretty amazing though. That looks pretty spectacular. It is really pretty. The mosquitoes are horrible in this part of Texas though. I always get completely obliterated in Austin from the mosquitoes. I never get bitten in uh, Houston. But the reason we have bats in like Devil's Sinkhole and the bats in the Bat Cave in Austin is because, or the Bat Bridge is because uh, they eat the mosquitoes. So the mosquitoes are kind of needed. <laughs> So, um, but yeah, no, I always get attacked here. Not so much in this part, mostly just Austin proper. Um, San Antonio never get bitten. So anyway, enough about me, more about this. This is the tomb and monument um, right here. So there's a tomb to the right and there is a monument that's like, um, what do they call it, obelisk or something. Um, so this is the burial site of Republic of Texas soldiers killed during the Dawson and Meyer expeditions, which I know nothing about. Still learning Texan history and oh my God, there's a view. You have to look at this. This is the view from the monument, which is behind me right there. And this is, um, Actually, it's funny, I'm like standing here looking and the scenic overlook is like right over there. I will go over there in a minute. Um, but this is the Colorado River, the same one that goes into Austin that I paddleboard on. You can see all the, the rail bridges. See all the bridges in the distance and the hill country and Austin is somewhere this way. I'm assuming it's toward the trees because behind me, there generally aren't many trees on the way to Houston. Um, okay, so let's go to the scenic overlook. Very, very short trails, probably less than two miles but again if you have mobility issues or you know little kids this is a good good little walking trail that you can do and I'm sure they can just like jump off these um, walls or play hide and seek behind the trees or something whatever the kids do these days you know <laughs> it's like get off your phone and like run around so this is the Cresha house um, with the smokehouse and the barn behind it and then there's a brewery overlook. So I guess this isn't an operation. Um, so it's not like a real brewery, it just used to be. I assume, I don't know, who knows. Um, you can actually go into, well, you can go look through the door of the house, which I'll do in a second. Going to look at the overlook. 
right here. Really, really pretty, beautiful day. Really freaking hot. <laughs> Way too hot for anything other than just like minor little marginal walking. spoke too soon don't let your kids climb on the rock walls so yeah um anyway so this is now i guess the top of the trail brewery lane trail is 0.2 miles lower bluff bluff overlook and then it's like a steep hike i might just do the hike and then come back around so let me take a look at the map here what am i looking at okay let me figure this out and i think i'm gonna go that way to the brewery overlook and then make my way back. So the visitor center closed at 4.30, but the park is open uh, 24 hours. I just put the money in the envelope if you're here after hours. Um, but yeah, it's um, a little shaded. So yeah, I think I'll go this way and then make my way back. This is the hike and you probably should wear hiking boots for this because it has that weird hill country like lava rock and get off me. Ah, shit. Sorry, bugs. I don't mind bugs, but the ones that just kind of park themselves on me and just like hang out. No, no, you're not invited to the party. Um, yeah, it's kind of like an asphalt path, but it's kind of a little bit uh, rocky. Um, I'm just in running shoes. So yeah, which are fine. Um, Anyway, so yeah, so I'll do this probably about a mile and then swing back, check out the other uh, things to see, and then uh, head on my way. Oh, that's beautiful. What is that bird? I know nothing about birds. There's some people that are like big into birding on uh, YouTube. I know nothing. But that was a big red bird. <laughs> I don't know what it was. There it is. That's beautiful. Okay, all right. So this is the brewery. And that's pretty cool. Yeah, there's a lot of Germans in this part of Texas. Germans and Czechs, so there's a lot of breweries and distilleries and that kind of thing. That's pretty cool. Okay, keep going. two mile hike I did not expect to be hiking today <laughs> um, but luckily I had some water with me and it was only probably two miles I did go back a you know a little bit got lost in a circle and it's prudent okay now I need something to eat something to drink cold frozen non-alcoholic so okay off we go that was really cool I'll definitely come back here very very kid friendly a little bit steep in places um there was some girl with her grandmother <laughs> trying to hike um but uh i would say don't come here when it's this hot um but definitely i'll come back it'll be a good trail run i could definitely do like one or two loops of the park maybe get like five or six miles in okay now back to lagrange or lagrange i don't know what it's called 